the Pleiadians, the evolutionary leap, the next 40 years. Greetings from home, dear ones. We greet you as the collective this day. We are so overjoyed to be with you and see humanity evolve in a magical way. We bring you a message from the collective because this is very important. Once again, we wanted all our energies to combine us one voice. Evolutionary Leap You are awakening from the dream in a very unusual way. We tell you, all eyes are upon you for this has never happened before in quite this way. It's an exciting time for us to be watching as well. At the beginning of your planet as humanity started to evolve, it was a game of free choice. Actually, it was the first game of total free choice. Never before has anything occurred that you did not have at least some guidelines to help keep a game on track. Alice, there was much discussion on that point. It was said, won't they get sidetracked? Won't they fear, of course, into other things and beliefs? But here you are evolving, awakening from the dream, and starting to hold all your power even in your own physical beings. It's amazing to watch. We are so incredibly proud. Now, allow us to tell you a little bit of what is ahead. It's a magical time that humanity is about to step into. As we have mentioned, there is much change happening on your planet. There are different processes that are now taking place. They will be more evident as time goes forward. But what we are interested in telling you about your path. As you move forward, your own physical body will start losing more density and that's a rapid evolutionary change. If you look back at the evolution of humanity, you will see that there were several different segments such as cro magnon men and Neanderthal men. We find it interesting that you did not call it woman instead of a man. You call it these different levels almost as if they happened overnight. Although in some ways they did from a cosmic scale the evolutionary stages happened very quickly and here you are at the edge of a new one right now. The next 40 years. Yes, this one's going to be quite different as well. Because what this does is allow you to carry more light in your own being. You will be carrying more of your own spirit and have the ability of communication with other spirits. There are many processes that you're going to have to go through to do this. Although it will seem like a blink of an eye, in truth it will take as much as 40 years of for humans to acclimate to this new form of existence. For most of you, you'll be able to go through a process of stepping into bioluminescence and carrying all of that light. In the meantime, you're also going to go through several processes 
of perfecting things before you leave and step into the higher state. This is an opportunity to finally get it right on many different levels. One of those is your interactions with planet Earth. As we mentioned a little bit earlier, the sun itself was breathing in and out with its magnetism. It goes through its magnetic eyelids the same way the planet Earth does. On a larger scale, magnetism has started to decrease within the sun. The magnetos, sphere emanating from the sun, has protected planet Earth from a very long time. Earth has lived in the shadow of the sun's magnetosphere, which is starting to wane a bit. You will also experience your own solar cycle, because very soon you'll be starting Solar Maximus again. As you transition into that in just about three years, you will start receiving solar flares on a regular basis. Although you can receive solar flares in the meantime, with some of them very extremely large. The reality is they will come in mass. With the decreasing magnetism of the Sun and magnetism of planet Earth, they can open up the Earth to receive much more radiation and charges from space. Earth Harmony one of the beautiful things that you will see is what you call Aura Borealis. The magnificent light in the sky as magnetism hits your ionosphere. It lights up and creates these magical dances of light in the sky. They have been mostly in northern areas like northern Siberia the Aleutian Island and Alaska. The light will be making its way soon, soon and you will start to see them in many different areas. These which will be signs that is taking place. Now in the meantime, planet Earth is struggling with her own magnetosphere you are seeing this play out in the increase in volcanic and seismic activity, such as the volcanic currently erupting in Hawaii. We hope that you focus on calming the volcanic activity in your own work and meditations, working in harmony with the Earth. You have more of an effect on planet Earth than you could possibly imagine. Yes, your rules that you make to work in harmony with the Earth and the laws that you make in different places to eliminate some of these pollutants that you have brought into your water. Several of these have greatly impacted humanity and its evolution. Some of the pollutants have created diseases and disorders that have gone on now for generations. You will start to see some of this change, but you will also see many changes taking place with the physical body. As the earth starts to heat up even more, you will also see more hurricanes. You are likely to experience several with significant magnitude this year. Quite simply, that means you can have an effect on this. By coming together 
even in small groups with singularly or group expressed intent to make a positive difference on planet Earth. You could have a profound effect. This is true now more than ever before. Between now and the time that those solar flares start coming in about three years from now, your effect is amplified almost as if you had a bonus. Every heart that comes online to be in harmony with the earth can be felt ten times more than it usually would be. So dear ones, these are the critical times to ignite your magic in harmony with planet earth. Whatever you can do, whether helping to pass laws or just being consciously aware of yourself, start working in harmony with different things to gain a general mindset of all of humanity. Because the Earth herself is a sentient living, breathing being just like you are. She has a feeling just like you do. Although she is very large and goes through different phases, she cares deeply about the life forms on Earth, probably more than you know. There have been very good life forms on planet Earth. Mankind has unconsciously extinguished 90% of the life forms of Earth due to human activity. So coming in line with that in some way will help you to master the harmony needed in the next level of life. You are not going to reverse all of that in the time frames that you have. But coming in line with that, being aware of that, starting to be aware of the harmony that you not only can have this earth but with each other can help to settle with earthquakes the volcanic activity the hurricanes settle the rise of the oceans to where it can be a comfortable pace to where humans can adjust earth's new evolutionary stage this is a beautiful time, as the Earth is going through this change. Please understand she is not dying, but simply going through a cycle of change. She has been through many cycles before and there are many more coming. Mother Earth cares so much about humanity and all forms of life from the small insect and even the microbes that you can only see with a microscope. Those are all beings of Earth and she cares greatly about. If those are able to make a shift to a higher vibrational status, that's her dream as well. That she will actually help that if you are in harmony with her. That is the time to really pay attention to every impact that you make in some way on planet Earth. Is there a way to use this more effectively, with less of a toll on the planet itself? These are the things that will make a huge difference here, dear ones. We also tell you that you're going to get some help because you're not alone in this multiverse. You never have been alone. Not only do you have other dimensions of your own reality, but you also have many of those who live in these other bubbles that are just like yours. Sometimes they have learned to take the 90 degree turns moving through the 
orthogonal matrix to shift dimensions and suddenly show up in your world. Although many of this may be somewhat technologically advanced, what you're really looking for is ideas. Are they going to come in and save your planet? No, they are going to give you the ideas about how you can harmonize with Earth. They are going to give you energy and start channeling through you. Because this is up to humans, you are on the planet of free choice. So they are not going to come in and do anything. They are simply going to offer ideas and inspiration. They are going to offer possibilities about being able to be in harmony with Mother Earth. If you act upon them, no matter who you are or what you may think, it can make a big difference. Understand that they would not be giving you these ideas if you could not make a difference in some way. Dear ones, we ask you to dare to speak out, speak forward, and take your place in whatever way you can during this time. These next three years are especially critical because they will help all of humanity take the step up to this next level where you will carry less density. Rejuvenation No, you won't have to be in the same physical bodies. There is one other piece that we wish to mention as you lose this density and transition into these higher beings. The piece that you'll look forward to is rejuvenation. You may wonder why you need to rejuvenate the physically dense body since you're leaving it anyway eventually. That is called mastery, dear ones. You have opportunities of mastery of many things and one of them is your human experience. Many of you will start getting ideas of how to work with not only the earth but also with your dense physical body. They are related, dear ones. There will be new ideas of how to treat it in different ways as many new concepts will emerge. Some of these will be brought in from other dimensions of time and space, while others you will magically channel. You will find this is oh so simple and very easy. Why didn't we think of it before? Maybe it was given to you. Look for those opportunities, for you are going to see many of those coming in very near future. You believe rejuvenation to be in the reverse of the aging process. But it is much more reconnecting with your youth, returning back time. In truth, it is a harmony with the dense, physical body itself. Because the dense physical body is of planet Earth. Rejuvenation is in harmony with Earth. It is the same type of harmony that we are asking you to develop by being cautious of your impact on planet Earth. There are all things that are setting you up to take this next step into higher levels of vibration and of being. Dear ones, this has never been done before, so we are very excited to see this happen. Humans have already made steps never before taken. 
and now you are preparing for even further leaps. We can't wait to watch to see how you deal with this, how you work with it, and how you create the magic in the world around you. The rejuvenation process is not new to planet Earth. You have done this before. There were many times on planet Earth when you could live to be at least 300 years. And when you look at the physical body, it was designed for that. So, what is the process that makes you age? Some of that is your belief systems, the actual energy that you feed your brain and tell your body. You will live this long. Although that may seem very simplistic, it's much deeper than you understand in changing that belief system is key. Average lifespan were once in the three hundred year range and there were even times that humans could reach nine hundred years. One may think that this is astounding for a physical dense body, but you would think nothing of a rock that could be last nine hundred years. The rock is earth as well. There are many opportunities new for you to start thinking about this in new ways. We will help you to uncover and work with the rejuvenation on a different level. It's very exciting and now more possible than ever before. Since humanity has stepped into the fifth dimension, we have mentioned many times that humanity has already moved into the fifth dimension. But it does not mean that you are accustomed to it or even using it. Most beings in some way or another are still using the third dimension of reality inside of the fifth dimension. You have great opportunities of creation and many of you are creating a third dimensional reality inside of the fifth dimension. Although some feel as if they are stuck or that things aren't working the same as before. But you are the fifth dimensional reality and you are going to start to anchor it in the new ways, which brings you new opportunities. This new reality allows you to consciously step into being higher beings. In other words, a higher existence. Previously was only possible for beings to experience this by first going home. When the game would end, there would be a mass extinction event. Everyone would go home, then reincarnate as a higher being and start a new game in another place. Instead, now you will have the opportunity to step up into it from Earth. That is new, and we are all extremely proud of the planet. Earth is the first planet of free choice. There are many starting to emulate this game. So watch for this help in new ideas. Open your channel to bring this in and ground the energy. Look for the harmonies that you can create, not only with your own being, but also with the Earth and the humans around you. These are the times when you can make more of a difference than you ever imagined before. Dear ones, especially during this next three years, we will tell you 
you are in a good hands because the family of E is here. We are speaking to most of them right now, and many new ones will be arriving soon awakening from the dream. Although they are already here on earth, some are not yet of age or have not awakened to their real possibilities. Actually, these are transition experts, which most of you are. All you need to do is to remember. It is with the absolute greatest of honor that we address you in this way. Now we leave you with three little reminders. Treat each other with respect. Nurture one another and play well together. Ispawa from home. The Pleiadians.